really honored to have this announcement be made here. The, the, China, the downtown um, revitalization initiative is really near and dear to our hearts. Um, as you know, Asian Americans for Equality is a near 50-year-old organization um, working in housing, uh, working in community services, as well, and, and we're honored to, to share this space with you here today. As you know, upstairs on the seventh floor is our small business um, lending and technical assistance arm, and across the street we have community services. And today I'd like to um, welcome you as well as introduce um, Secretary Robert Rodriguez here, who has served, who's serving as Secretary of State now, but has served um, in the Assembly for over a decade, um, and is a strong <laughs> supporter of affordable housing as well as infrastructure projects, which is both near and dear to my heart, but also central to the work that uh, Appy does as well. So, welcome, Secretary Martin. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, Maya. I appreciate that, and, and, and certainly the Asian American uh, for Equality for, for hosting us here today and really bringing us together uh, as, they, as they always have. Um, excited to be here with you in Chinatown on behalf of Governor Hopo, um, really to announce uh, one of the 11 downtown revitalization initiative projects that will be built in this great and historic uh, area of New York City. And it is not for a nominal amount. We're talking about $20 million. That's part of our round five, but it's our largest award in New York City to date. Um, and really, it focuses on reimagining what Chinatown can be. When I was an East Harlem kid coming downtown, you know, hopping out on the subway, we know how amazing Chinatown always is and how, uh, how, uh, how culturally important it is to the fabric of New York City um, and, to, and to Manhattan. But really, our goal at the Department of State with the Downtown Revitalization Initiative is to figure out, as a cornerstone, how do we develop and transform certain neighborhoods that may have been disconnected or, uh, or not invested in how do we bring together those amazing assets to present, to present um, economic development, support housing in the area, meet the needs of the residents, um, and, and really talk about how we connect nonprofits, private sector, um, and, and a real vision to reinvigorate an area. And Chinatown's DRI is really taking this on. And I just want to take a moment to uh, recognize the members of the um, local planning um, uh, co commission that we create. Because what's important about downtown revitalization initiatives is this is not the state coming into a community and telling you where you should spend those dollars. It is the opposite. We get all of you, the community members, in a room and say you tell us the list of strategic investments and priorities for your community. And you let us know how much we want to fund them. And you come up with that strategic plan. So that's not an easy feat. As somebody who chaired a community board for way too many years, <laughs> you know that if you can get consensus from you know, 20 or 30 people, you are ahead of the game. Uh, but that's, but as a result, I also believe in that process of the community knows best what we should be doing. So here we are. We're extraordinarily proud to be able to make this announcement. I would like, to, just for a moment, all the local planning council members to stand up for a minute. Be recognized. It's your six months of hard work and planning and representing your community that have brought us to this moment and to this list of projects. So really, let's, let's think about what we're gonna do. So now, one of the things that we know is that a DRI can be an example for how we support all the different areas of our community. And I think what you're gonna see in this 11 projects is how we have taken on that mission and really 
made sure that we've brought together the community of Chinatown and cared for um, our public spaces, our small businesses, as well as our, our, our uh, nonprofit and social sector, social service sector, to really make sure that we're building in the connectivity that already um, exists in Chinatown. So, on behalf of Governor Hobo, let's run through the list of amazing projects that the community has deemed to be those priorities. So the first one, and probably our most significant and sizable investment is renovating Kim Lao Square. Wow. Right. Yeah. I mean, all I know how important public spaces are for recognizing where you are in terms of a place, creating a kind of destination, giving an area, uh, um, uh, an opportunity for people to congregate not just for tourists, but for community members as well, and making it accessible. And I think one of the things that we know is we are currently not accessible, um, and being able to make that um, inclusion is really, really important to, to bring together the neighborhood. Now, connectivity matters, right? We're gonna have a wonderful square, um, but how do we get there? And I think there's one little section uh, that's a little bit tough that we can really make beautiful and better. So that Park Road connection from the will be beautiful and pedestrian friendly along the way. I think that's you know one of the marquees to making sure that we have that that feel of community. Now we love parks. Parks and open space. Not an open space. So there's a little section of Sarah Roosevelt Park that probably just needs a little TLC and a little more accessibility. <laughs> so we know that if we take that, now I've read about this bike, this bike polo thing, I, that's okay, I don't think that's really much <laughs> not. And, and make it an accessible space, you know, it will create, again, more areas for people to congregate, take a moment and really absorb the, the, the wonders and the beauty of this community. Now one thing, okay, we've taken care of some public spaces, we've taken care of a little bit of parks, but I feel like nothing makes a community um, shine, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use this one twice, better than murals, and light. Public art. So we have three large scale painted murals, as well as a light project, an art installation, 30 small scale murals, as well as an investment in lighting up um, street lanterns all, all around Chinatown. So our streetscapes will be nice, our lighting will be amazing, um, but one of the things that we know is that health and wellness matters. And I think we have seen in many communities, not just disparities and disproportionate impacts, but also um, access issues. So imagine how much better it would be with a new community health and wellness center at 60 Madison. <laughs> You can stop in, get a little bit of advice, maybe check in on yourself, ongoing programming, making sure that there's places to, to, to talk about issues that are in our community, mental health, wellness, um, and, 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 and the like. So I'm excited about that. The next piece, again, we're not forgetting our social services and we're not gonna forget our NYCHAs. NYCHAs are critical parts right. of our community. <laughs> Who is from, you know, whose parents come from NYCHA, you know, you recognize that you know, there's generations of ties to NYCHA and community. So, gotta make sure we do a little bit with Smith Houses and making sure that we provide child care and family support at Smith Houses that will serve the wider community. Child care is critical. <laughs> If we don't have childcare, we can't have two-income households. It doesn't work. 
So it's very important that we support our community, and it's exciting that we're doing that uh, at, uh, at Smith. One of the things that we know, mom and pop businesses have existed in Chinatown from its infancy to today. So we're coming out of a period where mom and pop businesses have struggled, so many in particular after COVID. So one of the things that we wanted to do and continue to do with downtown revitalization is make sure that we invest in our small businesses at the same time. This is not a fancy project in downtown for other businesses and other people and people who are just visiting. This is also for the businesses that are here who have struggled, who have been here and made Chinatown that place that, that other people wanna come visit, that everybody wants to come visit. So it's important that we support them in this transformation. So the Building and Upgrades Fund <coughs> provides a million dollars for small businesses to participate in the revitalization of their businesses. Now we all know Chinatown is amazing, and we know that there are other Chinatowns across the country. But I came to learn we were the only Chinatown without an arch. Woo! What? Woo! Oh, yeah. Of any Chinatown around. Finally. Make sure we build that landmark gateway to Chinatown. That way everybody knows, you know, this this is the real Chinatown right here. So along those lines, Chinatown is known for so many different things, but of course, culture is rooted in food, right? So I think one of the things that the community deemed was a really important priority was making sure that we established the Asian Culinary Arts of New York. who specialize in commercial Chinese and other Asian cuisines. So really, because the list is so expansive, I'm just gonna add one more. Just one more, because each one of these are thoughtful. Um, but we have an arch, we've got a culinary space, we have amazing businesses. Um, one of the things that was missing, and I just think it's kind of like the icing on, on the cake, is a Chinatown Cultural Welcome Center. So there will be a place to support all the folks who want to come visit and understand learn about Chinatown, learn about um, the Asian and Asian American experience, and to participate in all the things that the community has, has to offer. So I think what you see here is an amazing, thoughtful process that, ha that has come up with some <coughs> significant plans that support the existing community uh, of residents, that support social services, the health and wellness of the residents, provide venues for tourism and, and, and economic development and, and, and create really significant public spaces so there won't be any doubt that you are in Chinatown. So I, I think this is really an exciting um, uh, endeavor, um, one that could not have been done for the folks that I'm gonna recognize and, and we'll, we'll follow up um, in, in the program, but our elected leaders, as a former assembly member um, and um, someone who just believes that we have to be champions and advocates for our community, our leaders here have been that for so long. So our borough president, Mark Levine. <laughs> our former borough president, Gail Brewer, who took this one. Brought it to the goal line <laughs> and, and little does he know the hard work is actually building these things, so don't worry, we're not taking it easy on him. Uh, Senator Brian Kavanaugh. <laughs> Assemblywoman Yulee New. <laughs> Council member Christopher Marte. <laughs> and assembly member elect Grace Lee. <laughs> 
And I have to make sure we give them a shout out because they have to approve the budget for the next round. Of the <laughs> so we want to keep this going. But what's exciting here is that there's a new future for Chinatown, one that's going to include the community's vision. One that we are proud to be working as a partner to support and will be for the next, hopefully, two to three years, making sure that all of these projects get off the ground. And it's just, this is the room that we will continue to be accountable to as we execute this strategic vision that really came out of the community. So thank you for the opportunity to be here. We're excited about the transformation that will continue to happen. We have a clear roadmap for what uh, Chinatown will look like in the future. And I look forward to welcoming uh, Borough President Mark Levine to share a few thoughts about where we're going. In the Give it up again for Secretary of State Robert Rodriguez. So lucky to have you leading for our agency and for our state. Are those an awesome collection of projects for Chinatown or what? Oh my God. This is gonna be a jolt of energy for this community and it is the result of thousands of hours of work by so many people in this room. I wanna shout out the amazing staff who helped lead this. Jeanette Rauch, yeah. Joe Tadwell, who worked so hard. The members of the LPC collectively held dozens and dozens of meetings. Some of them were tough. This work had to be done. And the results, I think, speak for themselves. Can you please applaud again for all the LPC leaders? I want to thank my amazing predecessor, Gail Brewer, for fighting hard to get this I want to thank our phenomenal governor, Kathy Hochul. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let the record show values Chinatown so much that she awarded what is essentially double the normal DRI allocation. That is huge. Thank you, Governor Hochul. Now, there were so many good ideas that were submitted here. We had literally, um, we had precisely $107 million of proposals that were submitted to this, uh, to the LPC for this process. And uh, I think the, the mere act of sparking that kind of creative energy for Chinatown to generate so many potentially transformative ideas itself moved us forward. And while we couldn't fund all 107 million, I don't consider this the end. I think we now, now have a great menu of proposals on the table that we need to work to fund through all means that we can. Through city, state, federal partners, um, there is much, much more work to do. But the $20 million that we have invested in Chinatown, this is a, I think this is a historic moment that's going to spur economic development, creative dynamism, quality of life improvements, at a moment when Chinatown needs this investment. This has been a very rough three years for Chinatown. The public health shock, the loss of, of business activity, the horrible anti-Asian hate which has been unleashed on this community and the broader Asian communities of the city. Chinatown needed this. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that made it possible. Uh, to our state leaders, to the staff, to the volunteers, to my partners in government. This is the beginning of an exciting new chapter for Chinatown. Thank you so much. And now, I get to introduce my co-chair of the Chinatown DRI, a man who has committed his entire life to the economic development of this community, Wellington Chan. Thank you so much. This is fantastic. It's a long time coming, and I couldn't thank enough all the people that are involved, including all of you. Uh, you know, just example, the Chinatown Arch, right? This is the, 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 the arch dates back 2,000 years to the Han Dynasty, right? And this community had begged for mayor after mayor, 
back for, for 60 years, right? And I'm glad now that we have a mayor that says we're going to get it done together with the governor. Yeah. So that's a good thing. the phenomenal work that the team has put together and, and the, the elected official that stood behind it. And uh, you know, it's not just a, a couple of uh, uh, months of work, it's actually multiple decades and, and works, uh, uh, years, because you know, many of the ideas that you submitted date back a long time. So I cannot be more grateful to uh, the governor and uh, the elected, especially Gail Brewer, for you know, working with uh, way before COVID. Uh, the deputy uh, borough president uh, worked on this as well, and, and and then COVID hit. And but it's also the great news is that this is the first downtown to receive 20 million. All the other downtowns that are 40 that are is 10 million. So this is uh, a, a, a great day for us. But as the the, uh, the secretary of state said correctly, you know it's hard enough uh, as a former uh, community board member. It's not easy to get the people's consensus, and there's so many projects. So. And, and Mark Levine is absolutely correct. This is only the beginning. This is the, the spark, and, and it's going to generate the true public public uh, public partnership, the, the PPP, so that, that there will be uh, other uh, projects coming. Just look out the window. There's already a beautiful piece of artwork sitting on the potential site of one of the, the new projects, and so, which is a good way to go out there and sit on the great uh, uh, benches. Uh, the last speaker for today will be none other than the lady who started this. Our former uh, borough president, Gail Brewer, and, uh, and also a tremendous Remember, she wrote the proposal. I want to be clear. She wrote, wrote the proposal. And I, I, remember, I remember it was either 10 or 20. I said, hell, you're giving us 20. Um, because you had so many challenges in Chinatown, you deserve the 20. And it's really the commitment and the intelligence and the strategy of all the people who participated first in the writing of the proposal and then obviously figuring out which proposals with an amazing discussion. What I'm amazed is everybody's getting along right now. This is phenomenal. Because so many different projects are so good because you have so much invested and you know what the community needs. So I'm just here to say congratulations. It was a long process. I remember when the governor, Kathy Hochul, said, I will come to Chinatown and we will do a press conference announcing the 20 million. It was such a great day. But it all is due to you and to the elected officials and to the people who are sitting here that made it possible. Without the need and without the commitment, this would not have happened. It was hell right in this damn proposal, I'll tell you that right now. Um, but the fact of the matter is, such great projects have come out of it, and what this money does, I hope, as you heard earlier, is, is seed money. I remember my first call was to Jenny Lowe. Am I crazy? Did I write this damn proposal? And she said yes. So thank you, Jenny Lowe. Yes. She's so bad. Congratulations to everybody, and this seed money should be able to provide uh, the other many projects that the uh, borough president would be mentioned, because the need continues. This is just the beginning, but congratulations to everybody, and I look forward to seeing the fruition and the projects actually happening and built, and then we'll have another press conference. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.